Hey everyone, this is the Breeze, you know, and uh, yeah, sorry for the no glasses, but mine kind of broke and they're kind of uncomfortable to wear, and I don't want to shoot the video with. You know what I mean? Anyways, this is going to be my retro review of District 9. I don't think I've ever really talked too much about this film, but I absolutely love it. This, uh, what, this came out in 2009? This was one of my Christmas presents for that year. I'm like, I gotta get this movie because I saw it in theaters. I'm like, that was pretty good. Now, f first time you watch this film, like the first 20 minutes, it either really grabs you or you really hate it. But after that, that's when the film really picks up. And it's because it's like a mockumentary style filmmaking. And first time I watched it, I absolutely hated those segments. Like, like why, why are you doing this? Just show me a real fucking movie, please. But after watching it more and more, I, I really grew to love those segments. Really did. And, I don't know, it just gave the film a little bit more uh, realness to it. Yeah, this this film was an amazing debut by Neil Blomkamp. Very, very great. And this is the original first run, too. It actually has the... Uh, right there, the God of War 3 <laughs> playable demo. That's, that's how old this is. Thanks. Yeah, that makes me feel old. But yeah, th this film right here. So much fun watching this film. Especially the last 20 minutes. The last 20 minutes. Beautiful. Beautiful film. I really do love uh, Charlotte Copley as Vickis Vandemore. <laughs> this film, is, it literally is the film that put Charlotte on the map. And I'm glad that he's getting a, a, some more work outside of Neil Blomkamp's films. Of course, he does really, really shine in Neil's films, but... Like, he was the best part about that 18 movie. I actually really like that 18 movie, mainly because of him. <laughs> I think his name is Murdoch. Yeah, that, so good. Because of him. He really stole the show in that film. So great. She's like, he still doesn't show in anything that he's in. I haven't seen Maleficent, but from what I've seen of him in that, he's pretty good. As far as I know, that's all he's ever really been in, is Neil Blomkamp stuff in those two films. So if you know anything else that Charlton's been in, please let me know in the comments down below. But, yeah, this film, you really buy him as Vickis. And this, you really buy everything in this film. Some of the CG isn't up to snuff, but this is a low-budget film. This is probably... The slickest looking indie film you'll ever see. Because, whew, they made this for around $30 million. And I remember it was a big deal because it made $30 million in this opening weekend. So people was like, oh, yep, it's a hit. We're going to get a sequel. And it's 2015 and we have yet to get a sequel. No biggie. It's not like you left a big, uh, big cliffhanger there at the end with the main character. So, uh, there's that. <laughs> uh, of course, Neil has said that he is planning on eventually doing a sequel to this, you know, a District 10. And I remember when this movie came out, like, because it was such a big hit, people were like, oh yeah, they're definitely going to be at District 10, because they talk about District 10 in this film. That's the whole thing, that they're ev evicting all the aliens from District 9, moving them to District 10, which is just a concentration camp. That's what this movie's about. And... He just does a really good job of interlaying his own personal uh, background before he grew up in Johannesburg. Throwing all that culture in here. It really, really plays well in a sci-fi film. He, this is a true personal film, I guess, for him. All of his films are kind of like that, actually. But it really does play very well in District 9. And I actually own two copies of this film. Thanks to this right here. And, uh... You'll see that in the next video. But uh, this, I'm never going to get rid of this because this is special to me because this is the first run of it. You know, this is my introduction to Blanc Camp and I will always keep it. Ever meet him or something, like, I'll like, autograph this, please. Because this is, this is awesome. But yeah, I, like, the body horror stuff is in this. That's definitely, like, uh, the, the young Peter Jackson style body horror, you know, where he, his teeth fall out and his fingernails come off. You see the hand come out. That shit's so good. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Love it so much. 
I love um, the relationship that he has with uh, Christopher Johnson in this film. You know, how it's basically, you know, the alien Christopher Johnson. How basically he's the dumb human still in this. And he's like, well, you done fucked it up for me getting off this planet. You gotta help me get that goo back so we can leave and I can come back and fix you. Although Christopher Johnson is a bit of an asshole because he lied to him and said... You know, I can fix you with that. He didn't, he didn't say that hey, I have to go back until the very end. So, yeah, definitely hoping that eventually we can get a uh, a district, t you know, a District Nine sequel where Christopher Johnson comes back to Earth with you know the mothership and cures Vickis. Of course, you know this full spoilers and everything, but you know this is retro review. This is old enough by now. If you haven't seen this, it's your fault for me spoiling anything. So, you know, there you go. Still, yeah, I haven't delved into anything too major, but we yeah, actually have. But you haven't seen it visually, I still recommend that you really, really, really watch this film. Like, ASAP, because this movie's awesome. Like, really awesome. <laughs> I don't know anybody who hasn't seen it, except for, like, surprisingly Dolphin, maybe. But, uh, this movie's, this movie's great. And the score... Not so much the whole score. But there's one track in general, you know, it's called District 9 score. Or just nine tracks, sorry. It's, it's kind of late. That track. Oh my god. It was... <sighs> I guess the feels every time. Every time. I just think of, you know, Vickis laying on the ground, you know, his knees, staring up at the sky. I'm like, eh. Survive, bro. Survive. <laughs> yeah, this... I really like the CG on the creatures. I like the design of the creatures. That's one thing I love about all the Neil Blomkamp stuff is the designs. Looks very, very awesome. Everything he does, he's just a visual genius. But yeah, see, there's the shop style right there of uh, Vickis. Really, really cool. And if you're wondering why it's spelled Wickis, but did they say Vickis? Because South Africa was a, South Africa was a German colony. And they're all German descendants. And Germans make W's, V's, and V's, W's. So, there you go. That's why it's Wickus instead of Vickus, but it's Vickus. Anyways, I've been a very good over Click Vings Entertainment. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave it to cuts, comments, and blah. Bye.